Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Um, today we're going to do a little segment on dubbing and mixing of dubbing for a new set of flies we're going to be filming and releasing uh, to share with you. And first of all, we want to talk a little bit about blenders. Um, they're not all created equal. This particular blender has wings that go up and down on the blade. Not only does it chop material, it um, fluffs fluffs it at the same time. Some blenders don't have those wings and so all it does is fluff the material which is fine if that's what you want to do. I like to use um, this type of blender and then I use um, STS Trilobal to make my blends and then add things like ice stub or a natural fur like hare's ear dubbing or um, squirrel tail uh, down at the base and I'll show you that. So what I'm going to do is a basic mix here that we are going to be using on these um, jig flies and the first material I'm going to put in here is some brownstone uh, STS trilobal and that's kind of my base mix that I use for a lot of things so I, and this has got a little copper in it so I'm going to take you know we're going to go by pinches so there's two pinches and let's put a third pinch in there of that and then the next stuff that we add is all a pinch each basically so I'm going to put a little bit of olive in there a scant amount of red and blue Just a little bit. And what are we trying to achieve with all this? What we're trying to achieve with this is getting that multicolored hue that you get off of some of your bugs. I mean, they have iridescence and stuff. Um, and it just gives a lot of different uh, contrast in your dubbings and depth in it. You know, does that help uh, catch fish? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Let's go with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't think it did something for us. So I've got all those in there. Next, I am going to take um, some red squirrel tail. Now, that's kind of a different one. It is. I want something stiff that's buggy. And I can use hair's ear mask, works great too, but I found that these hairs um, on the base of this tail are pretty stiff, and but yet still soft enough to, to blend in and, and look really good. So what I'm gonna do with this is just take the stuff that's kind of guard hairy on the base of the tail, cut off a chunk of that and throw it in there too. And that'll just give me my guard hairs. So now I've got my materials in there. This thing you just press the lid down just for a second, a few times, and then I'll check it and make sure everything's getting mixed up. And then I've got my mix. And I could blend this a little more and it probably will. I'm just kind of looking now to see how I like the color blend and I think it's pretty spot on. So there's our dubbing. Um, if I wanted to add a little bit of sh more sheen to this, I could put a little bit of ice stub in it. Um, I would recommend golden brown or something with copper depending on what kind of highlights and flash you're trying to put in. Um, ice stub also comes in a series of UV colors and I'll be doing a video on brushes here next week. Um, we're gonna do a little October caddis pattern and uh, dealing with some of the brushes and the UV ice dubs that you can mix in. But you can add these to, to this as well. This makes a great dubbing also for um, without the squirrel tail um, for your uh, leech patterns. And so there you and go. a lot of like the Kaufman stones. Kaufman this, stones. This answers a lot of that, right? Yeah, I mean that's perfect it. for that. Yeah, it's a coarse enough material like the Kaufman stone. Um, but it still will dub a little bit and you can adjust the colors to what you want. So that's our bit, our 201 course on, on dubbing mixes to follow up Jay's original post uh, you know, some time ago. Um, I hope this helps and uh, happy blending.